Okay, everyone, so I'm gonna be showing you my freelance makeup kit. Um, and this is the bag that I carry everything in. It's from Shaney or Shani, I don't know how you pronounce that, but. So I got this bag online, I think, I forget where I got it. I think it might've been like on Amazon, probably. Um, but it's called Shaney, the brand, or Shani. And I really love this bag because it's clear and it has a bunch of pockets all throughout the front and the back. And then it has this side pocket here where you can put like wipes and it has a zipper. So you can just easily open it and take things out of there. But you can also open it with the flap as well if you want. Um, I, it's really like sturdy, very well made. And I feel like this isn't gonna like break on you easily or give out on you. Um, it has these two handles with like the cushions on the here. Um, and it fits a lot of stuff. I, like to be honest it really fits a lot a lot a lot of stuff like i have everything that i need in here i don't know like i've seen a lot of people carrying those like suitcases or um those zuka bags and just like really heavy huge um like luggage basically to carry their makeup kit in and i honestly like i get it but for me i think this works perfect um i think that some people be doing the most to be honest <laughs> i think it's like i like to keep things minimal i don't want to be carrying like a freaking suitcase with me everywhere i go so this is my bag it's a pvc bag um or what is this called why i forget what this material is called but yeah this is it um we're gonna get inside and see what what's going on in there i'm gonna show you guys everything that i have inside so i'm just gonna be showing you what i have on these front pockets first um so this little container i got from cinema secrets but i got it on that same website that i bought this bag in so this little um container is for cleaning your brushes for spot cleaning so if i could just get it open um so basically what you do you put your brush cleaning solution or spot um cleaning solution in here and then you'll dip your brush in there and then wipe it off on a napkin until it's dry and you want to make sure that you get one of those quick drying spot cleaning um solutions because otherwise it it's gonna take forever to dry if you're gonna be switching between clients right away um, i also have these metal palettes mixing palettes to mix uh, foundation cream lip any type of liquid or cream products on there and then I also have a color switch. And this is for um, if you have a brush that you're using like eyeshadow, um, you can remove the color of that's on that brush on here if you just like swish it around in there and it'll remove the color. That way you can like switch between different colors using the same brush. And then I have just a couple of sample products from and then over here I have some face wipes from Shea Moisture and I have a couple of empty like Ziploc baggies just in case I need to like throw anything in here like for example this one I probably put in any like used um, beauty blenders in here um, so that they don't dirty my bag or get my bag dirty um, until I get home and clean them. So that's what that's for. And over here, I have some gum. Yes, I have gum and not mints because I like chewing gum better than sucking on mints. That's just my preference don't judge me i'm not gonna be chewing like a cow in front of my client trust me okay i have self-control um but i also have some mascaras on here this one is the l'oreal uh, voluminous lash paradise and this one is your laura mercier caviar volume and this one is waterproof you always want to have a waterproof mascara 
so over here i have some lashes that i just took them out of the packaging and stuck them on here because these are smaller and more compact and easier to carry and fit into small spaces um but these are just some like uh falsies um i have like ardell faux mink um i have some natural looking ones here for my ladies who don't like um lashes that much and then i have some gel liners black gel liners this one is from mica beauty and this one is from maybelline and i have my um duo lash glue I have the lash glue in the dark and the clear and I recommend you get the ones that come in these little um, bottle packaging because they dry quicker and they're easier to apply because the applicator is like a pencil kind of and then what else do I have in here then I have just some more like eyelash products and then this is for my eyelash curler that's that and over here on the side pocket um there's a side pocket here that has a zipper you can put like your face wipes or baby wipes whatever type of wipes you have there i just put them in the front because i can just fit other things in here because this pocket is quite large um and my wipes are the packaging is pretty small so it could fit in one of the smaller pockets on the front so that's why i didn't use this for the purpose of storing wipes um but yeah in here i have my brush one of my brush containers and i got these online on amazon i thought these were just a better option for me because they're more compact they um keep your brushes nice and clean and keep the dust out because it zippers and it closes like that and i also like that when you open it um you can pretty much like stand your brushes up like it'll it'll stand in place like you know what I mean um and your brushes will pretty much stay upright like that you can just put them so I really like these um the top part is like this plastic material so it's easier to clean um and then I also have some hand sanitizer in here um just a little trick for you guys I like to put drops of lavender oil or any type of essential oil your preference um whatever you prefer but I like to use lavender because it gives it a nice scent. Um, and then when you're doing like your client's makeup, you know, it's a nice experience. They can smell the lavender and it's more calming, more relaxing type of experience for them. And for you too. And then I have these e.l.f. Uh, line and define eye tapes. So this is just if you want like to create a really sharp eyeshadow look or even like for eyeliner too. Um, you could just stick these on. Um, and they're really affordable they're like three four dollars then i found this um facial prime and setting mist from anyways giovanni eco chic skincare is what it's called and yeah i thought the packaging looked pretty cool and i misted this on my arm to see like what it felt like and it felt very nice um and then i actually even like swatched some eyeshadows over the top of it um, and some some foundation on the top of it on my arm to see like how you know how it gripped any type of makeup on it and it actually like works really great as like a priming type of product so I'm really excited to use this it has a lot of good claim that you know I liked so and it says it's hydrating too so I'm excited to try this and of course i have this the morphe continuous setting mist guys this stuff is like so cool the mist is so fine on this i'm really surprised that other brands haven't came out with setting mists that are similar to this kind of like packaging and just like an aerosol can um because this is like fucking this is game changing for real for real morphe is they're on top of their shit and I have a couple of these little spatulas. These are good for scooping out cream products, um, lip products, anything that you don't want to put your makeup brush into or 
um, you dip your fingers into because that's gross. You don't want to do that. You could use these. And then lastly, I have just a bottle of 70% rubbing alcohol. And that's what I have in there. Then in this bag, I just have in this pocket, I mean, I have um, this little, it, this is supposed to be a makeup, um, I'm sorry, not a makeup. This is supposed to be a electronics organizer and um, it just, it's like a roll out kind of thing. It has like different pockets on the inside and I just keep my disposables in here like mascara wands, lip wands. Um, I have these puffs, um, satin puffs um, that I use like to place on the client's face and then like lay my finger on it so that I'm not putting like any marks on their, on their skin, um, on their makeup. And then I have these like, um, oh, what are these called? Oh my God. <laughs> um they're like cutest but they're pointed and then the other side is rounded it's for makeup application it's not meant for your ears so i have those oh shoot so i have those and then in here i have a some a couple of like um these stila eyebrow pencils they're kind of similar to the brow wiz i have a an eyebrow gel I have um, my eyeliner pencils in there and I also have this little thing which I thought was so cool it's so squishy if you feel this it feels so good <laughs> I don't know I'm weird about like stuff that that feels good like it's satisfying to touch it like I don't know it's just squishy but um, I feel like this would work good for like skin prep so if you're gonna be putting anything like in the under eye, like um, like under eye cream or gel or moisturizer or face oils or like your your primers or whatever the case, like anything that you want to apply to their face, I feel like this would feel good to the, on their like it'll feel good to the touch on their skin. Um, so it's kind of like a treat, like a little massage on their face. Um, and also you don't have to like put your actual like bare fingers on their face like to apply things to their face so I thought that was nice to have and I think did I mention the so these ones are lip liners in here just a bunch of like NYX lip liners um and that's all I have in this little pouch and this pouch is so cute too so I like that and it fits perfectly in that pocket too so uh, if i could just get it to close again there you go okay so then this pocket here we have some japanesque um face cotton pads and let me just take it out because it's not fitting now now that i took it out it's not fitting <laughs> and then i have some um spot cleaner that i made myself and I have a uh, makeup, another one that is just spray. It's the same stuff that's in here. Um, but it, this one is just in a spray bottle. So, yeah, if you guys want to see how I make my own um, brush spot cleaner, let me know. I'll make a little short clip on how I make that stuff. So. Um, and then in this last pocket here I have I'm just gonna keep them in there because I don't want to put my hands on them but I have just um four beauty blenders and then this little thing is meant for dog picking up dog poop so it's like the little doggy baggies um and I just keep them here because they're good for throwing trash in there like anything that you want to throw away and toss in the trash you can put them in these little baggies so and then I also have another one of those um brush pouches here and my laura mercier um translucent setting powder in there so the first bag in here is this ysl little like travel pouch and i just like to keep 
um, a couple of little shaving wand thingies. I don't know what you call these, disposable like shavers. Um, a bunch of hair ties, some hair clips for for if you need to put your hair up or if you need to put the client's hair up and get it out of the way. I have an eyelash curler. I have a little scissor, tiny scissor for if you need to trim brows or if you need to um, like shorten any false eyelashes. Um, I have a little mini tweezer here. I actually like this because it's so small and compact. Um, and I even like to put um, put on eyelashes with this because you can really get close in there because it's so tiny. And then I have a sharpener. So that's all I have in this baggie. Nothing too crazy or important, even though these are definitely good to have in your kit. They come in handy. And these I actually like sometimes women um, or not just women, anybody, but just clients in general will, will want you to um, shave the hair off their face or you just never know, you know, you never know. Maybe like they don't like to pluck their eyebrows and you can just like quickly go in and clean them up with one of these. It, it works for a lot of stuff. So those are handy. Yes, girls shave their faces too sometimes, people. Okay. Okay. All right, so we have this bag here um i got these at marshall's or tj maxx one of them and um i have a little label on this one that says foundation because i keep most of my base and complexion products in here so i just have these are makeup forever um matte velvet skin uh, powder foundations. And then I have, this is a La Femme, um, like bronzy or, I think you can use it as a bronzer or a, or a blush too, but it's a really nice color. So I kept it in here. I got this um, on, I believe it was Cinema or Camera, camera Ready Cosmetics. And then I have this um, Anastasia um, contour color, like their um, cool tone contour um bronzing color so these are good for setting these are good for foundation for just like color on you know um for all over the face for setting um foundation it will add hella coverage though because this is meant to be a foundation they're like powder foundations so if you're going to use it on top of um something or like a foundation a like a liquid or a cream foundation, you might want to go light on the cream or the liquid foundation if you're going to apply this on top because it is it is quite full coverage. Um, then I have some shades of the Born This Way, Too Faced, Born This Way, Undetectable um, foundation. And these are medium to full coverage. I actually have not tried these yet. I just got them. But... Um, so many people say so many good things about these foundations. So that's why I wanted to pick them up and put them in the kit because a lot of makeup artists were saying that these are a very good foundation to have in your kit. So that's why I grabbed a few shades of these. And I only grabbed five shades because honestly, um, I could literally mix and mix any of these colors and create whatever color I need. Like I picked up, I think most of these are neutral tones. One of them I think is like a a reddish or a um yeah i think reddish like a reddish undertone and then one of them ha has like a pinkish undertone but yeah this these i can make any color i want with like just five shades so you don't need to have every single shade it's just it takes up too much space it's just it's too much people it's too much so then i have this makeup forever um ultra hd cream foundation these are from like the foundation sticks but it's just in a compact um, and it has 12 shades, six on each side. And I bought this because a lot of people love this foundation and say that it's great for camera, um, for photos and videos. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna put it in my um, kit. And I also wanted it to be like easy to carry with you and like will fit anywhere. And I didn't wanna like buy a bunch of the bottles. Um, but honestly, I thought this was going to have way more product than what it actually came with. However, 
you know they do say that a little bit goes a long way these these are meant to to have um a lot of pigment in there so i'll even pull one out and show you how little these um these pans are like look at that tiny ass pan like what am i supposed to do with that but i don't know we're gonna try it out we're gonna test it out and we're gonna see um how we like it and if i really really like it which i honestly feel like i'm gonna like it <laughs> i don't feel like i'm gonna hate it honestly but if i feel like it's something that i'm gonna it's that it's gonna be like a staple i'm definitely gonna purchase the full size um and then probably buy one of those like view set um those view set containers where you can like decanter or, like um depot like cream products and put them in there and it's more compact it's kind of more like like this kind of vibe just like a small you know container like this that you can just have all of your shades in there just like take them out of the, the packaging and just put them in there so yeah but this is i really love the packaging of this it is so cute like look at how adorable this is just for the packaging this shit was expensive but i don't know it's so cute i just feel like oh my goodness i, I love it <laughs> So yeah, that has six, uh, 12, my bad. It has six shades on each side. And I like that it shows you like the color ranges on the outside of the packaging too. And there's a white in there too. So if you have like a really, really fair girl, um, you can always use that to lighten anything up or to even like um, brighten up the under eye too if, if your girl is really, really fair. Um, I also have a Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Um, this one is in the color Vanilla. So I also have just one of these shades and I like this because it's a really light, light color. So if you want to mix this in with any of these ones to lighten up a shade, you can also do that. And then I have a bunch of e.l.f. Um, 16 hour camo concealers. Um, I picked these up because everybody was raving about them and they were like that these are comparable to the shape tape. So... I picked these up because I also own one of these for myself um, and I've used it on myself quite a bit and I honestly cannot tell the difference between these and the shape tapes and these are like fucking half more than half the price if not um, but yeah I picked these up because shit why not <laughs> and then I have two shades of the Pro Conceal um, the Pro Conceal High Definition HD High Definition Concealer from um what is this brand from LA Girl I have the shade and I haven't been telling you guys the shades of any of these but I'm gonna get to it just give me a minute I'm gonna just like breeze through them at the end so this one is Warm Sand and this one is Classic Ivory and then I also have one Becca um one Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. This one is in the shade, I can't even see that. Warm Honey. This one's in the shade Warm Honey. And then the last product in here is this Cover FX um, Custom Cover Jobs. I heard a lot of good things about these as well. So I wanted to pick one up and try it out and see if I like it. Um, but this is in the color, or in the shade N40. So it's a neutral shade and it's, it's kind of like a, it has like a sandy tone. Um, yeah so that's i wanted to try this out and see how that how that works out but i also put dates on all of these products that i get i'll put the month and the year that i um that i got them just so i know you know how long i've had it and if it's if it's been in my kit for like way too long and needs to be thrown out then i know okay i'm gonna throw this out and i'm gonna or repurchase it or whatever the case um but yeah, these are good to mix in with your other foundations too and like change the shade of a foundation or, you know, create a new color, et cetera, et cetera. So, so yeah, this is N40. Um, this one here, this Born This Way is in the color Sand. Um, like I said, the Becca is in the color Vanilla. Um, the Becca Concealer is in the color Warm Honey. I have the Elf camo 16 hours and I have medium beige I have cinnamon I have deep olive I have rich honey light beige and neutral tan neutral my bad tan neutral so I have um six of those and I already told you the LA, LA girl pro conceal shades and then I have chestnut in the born this way 
I have spiced rum in the bo Born This Way. I have ganache in the Born This Way and nude. And then the these ones, if you buy the, the pack, they all bring the same shades. So if you buy the palette, it'll be the same shades across the board. And then um, the matte velvets, I have Y405 matte velvet skin. I have Y425. I have R530. Come here. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. I have Y505. I have, fuck. <laughs> I have Y315. And I have R230. So those are the shades i have in the matte velvet skin powder foundations from makeup forever and then this la femme is soft beige and then this one it doesn't have it but y'all know which one that is everybody knows which one that is okay fudge okay so this is what i have in this bag and I love these because they're like rectangular, these these bags. And they just fit everything so nicely in there. So I like those. So I have another one of those white rectangular bags. And in this one, I have what do I have in here? I have um basically all my I, some eye palettes and a lot of face palettes that have like highlighting, bronzing, um, blush. Um, so I keep those in here because they're like palettes and I just prefer to keep them in this bag because they're smaller palettes. So I don't want them to be just like hanging around the whole entire bag, just like loose. So um, the first thing that I pull out right now is this NARS um, Illuminator, and this is the color Orgasm. I like this um, to lay on the skin before foundation to give like a nice glow or a nice dewy look, if that's what my girl wants. Um, this is perfect for that. So you can even mix this into the foundation as well, or you can put it on the skin before you apply foundation. And it works pretty much the same, honestly, but whatever flows for you, whatever you like to do best. Um, but yeah these are really good um they kind of they really melt into the skin they're not like gonna make you look like hella shiny like you're fucking beaming like from a mile away it's not gonna look like that um it's just gonna give you like a really nice subtle glow a subtle dewiness um i really love this i like this color better for um like medium tannish like to deeper tones skin tones and then this becca shimmering skin perfector is um the liquid form it's in the color opal and this one i like to use for fairer and even tan skin and maybe you can even you can even get away with like medium tones probably with this one it's not it's not like this one like dispenses a lot of product the little pump but yeah and this one is also like it's a, it serves the same purpose the same function it just adds like if you see that that like subtle glow and it like melts into the skin. It doesn't make you look hella like greasy, hella shiny. It just gives you like a nice glow. Very pretty, very pretty. So I also have these MAC palettes. These are trios and um, it has the extra dimension powders in a highlight, a bronze and a blush. Um, one is for like a light or fair skin and then the other one is for medium and deeper skin tones. Um, so these are from MAC, the skin finish, what is it called again? Extra Dimension. So the first one here is a highlight. These are for the deeper, medium and deeper skin tones, the blush and then the bronzer. And then I have the lighter skin tones. And this is the highlight, blush and the bronzer. And then I have these two e.l.f. palettes that have um, four shades of blushes. 
and this one is for deeper skin tones and i just have these because they're they come in handy if you don't have a shade of blush or if you like just want like a specific look and you don't have that specific shade these ones carry a nice range of shades so and the product and the pigment and the consistency of the pigments or um, of the powders are pretty good like pretty decent to be honest like they're pretty good the color payoff is nice too um so yeah these are some nice shades um i have this one for the lighter um skin tones but these are those which we have some nice these two shades though this one and this one have some sparkle in it which i don't appreciate because it's really glittery and i don't like that in blushes i don't like glittery glittery ass like sparkles in my blush like nah sis that shit's not cute so we also have this laura geller um trio it has three different highlights in champagne toast starstruck golden gleam um so this one is just your basic champagne tone this one is the pinky tone and of course the golden tone and then we have this wet and wild my glamour squad um i eyeshadow palette and these it, this one a lot of people were comparing it to the soft glam from anastasia which i currently don't have so i picked up this one because um i don't know people were saying that it's really good and that it's comparable to the soft glam from anastasia beverly hills so i wanted to try it out and the colors are really nice i swatched them already and they're actually very pigmented and pretty like not too too powdery so we also have this <coughs> laura geller glam on the go blush highlight and bronze trio um we have the color peony we have pure shimmer and we have a shade called medium in there for the bronzing that's what that looks like then i have this aesthetica cosmetics brow contour kit we just have some powder um brow products in here we have a highlight and then we have a wax and this is really good for getting into those brows girl you know what i'm saying so i came across this brand at rite aid that i've never seen before and i wanted to see what it was about because the packaging was so cute and it looked like you know it didn't look like a, your average drugstore um brand like it didn't look like a brand that was supposed to be in the drugstore it actually looked like a brand that you would see like in ulta so yeah i picked this up you know i was like let me give it a go because it has some like cool tone colors in here that i wanted to try out and i didn't have a palette with these type of shades so like cool tone shades so i wanted to try it out and these are the shades so that's that palette then i have this Too faced um eyeshadow palette and this one is the sparkling pineapple one and it brings how many shades does this bring six six shades so this one is cute and it smells like pineapples so you can't you can't beat that can't argue with that you know what i'm saying if it smells good and it's cute and the pigment is good and the colors are creamy and they're pigmented like girl and then i have this makeup revolution um collaboration with Soph x eyeshadow palette it's called extra spice it says it has 18 ultra professional pigments i don't know why they didn't just say eyeshadows because these are definitely not pigments i'm sorry i wiped this down with like a wipey and it looks kind of funky so i'm gonna have to wipe it down <laughs> i'm gonna have to wipe it down with a napkin instead of like a wet wipe but is what this looks like it has some nice shades in here some nice colorful bright shades which i appreciated so that's why i picked this one up and i also heard a lot of good things about this palette so i was like let's try it out why not sir sir so i have this nars um this is like a blush but it has like a highlight and a bronze in there so i'm not sure if it's meant to be used as like each color is separate or if you're supposed to mix it all at once and use it like that but um it's the shade is called fire clay and that's what that looks like i think this one is you know it's a nice like you always need like a nice bright like pink or almost reddish toned blush because it always comes in handy then I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in the color Rich Amber. And that's what that 
Mm. And that's what that looks like. She looks cute. She looks cute. I'm excited to try this one because I swatched it and the color looks really nice. And it was very creamy. So this Becca highlight in the shade Lilac Geode. And that's what it looks like. It's a rosy, goldy kind of highlight. As if I needed any more highlights, y'all. Definitely didn't. I have this Tarte um, eyeshadow palette and it has a bunch of like rosy and like nude-ish, bronzy-ish shades in there. This one is also nice and creamy. Um, and then I have a NARS, and what is this, a blush? Yeah, a NARS blush, the color is Impassioned is what it's called. This is a nice light pink, like a flush, like pink, baby pinkish um, blush, which is always good to have. So that's what's in here. Moving along, continuing with our eye products. Oh my God. Why do I need so many eye products, y'all? I don't know. Like having so much stuff really like bothers me. I don't know. I don't know how some of you have, <laughs> I'm not trying to offend anybody or comfort anybody, but I don't know how y'all do it. I don't know how y'all have like a fucking whole suitcase of makeup. Like, wow, I just can't. <laughs> I can't do it, guys. I'm sorry. I can't. Anywho, so we have a bunch of these um, L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. Um, they're kind of like pigments almost, but I have a, six of these, six shades. And um, shade number one is Endless Pearl. We have Endless Sea. That's a nice like mermaid kind of color. We have... Gilded Envy. This is like a, I don't know how to describe that color, y'all, but yeah. Amber Rush. That's what that one looks like. Um, Iced Latte. That's what that one looks like. We got Midnight Blue. That's what that one looks like. <laughs> y'all, I'm annoying. Um, then I have six of these. These are really good, you guys. All of these are good, actually. So I have six of these ones also. These are the, what are these called? Color Rich, Color Rich Eyeshadows. Yes, that's what it's called. Color Rich, Color Rich or Color Rich Eyeshadows. So I have um, Green Pomade. This one, the shit, the sticker peeled off so I can't tell you what this is, but, <laughs> but I'll open it up. It's a little bit like of a purpley shade, purpley kind of like, bronzy kind of shade then i have um quartz fume you can kind of see it from the outside i have paris beach i have pan au chocolat and i have cafe au lat that's french i i don't know i don't know guys i don't know if my accent was trash i took french in high school and I did like one year or like a semester in high in college of French, but that shit hard. Like I speak Spanish, but I was like, oh, I speak Spanish. I'll probably pick that up quick. It's not gonna be a thing. Um, yeah, it wasn't. That's not how it went. <laughs> but anywho's, I have Color Pop. I have three Color Pop. Um, what are these? Super Shock Shadows. And I have the color Sailor, I have the color Cosmic Charge, and the color Lightning Bug. And I have this Your Minerals um, Sweden. This is a, a, loose, a loose pigment. And it's in the shade Brown Hypnotic. It's kind of like a taupey um, shade, but it also has some like 
purpley kind of undertones. And then I have this color tattoo Maybelline Pure Pigments. And this is in the color, I don't know, but there's some numbers there. I don't know if that's the color or shade. Then I have some of these um, Stila, what are these called again? Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows, which everybody's been like obsessed with these days. And I have the shade Jezebel, Grace, and Twig. And then I have the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Wait, are these the same? Yeah, these ones are Shimmer and Glow, and these ones are Glitter and Glow. These ones are a little bit more glittery. And these ones came in a set, like a holiday set. Um, and they are Follow the Sun, Burnished Sienna, and Sunset Fire. So that's everything that I have in this little pouch here. All right, so continuing the eye and face, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. See, I'm talking shit about other people with their suitcases, but I have hella like I don't know. I feel like this is a lot to me. Like this is this feels like a lot of shit. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me or if um if this is actually a normal amount of makeup for a makeup artist. You guys, let me know. Is this a normal amount of makeup or am I like ODing? I don't know. Anywho's, we have the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette. Um, and we have a bunch of just matte shades in here. You always need like a nice neutral um, matte palette of eyeshadows. Because you just never know when you're going to need like a matte neutral shade. You know what I mean? We have some cool tones in here too, which is why I like this palette also. Because <clears throat> even though I don't really use cool tones a lot, it's always good to have them because you never know when one of your girls is gonna want a cool tone look you know what i'm saying then we also have this becca champagne pop um face palette it says it's fa face and eye so some of these shades you can use on the eyes we have the champagne pop highlighter we have a couple of shades of like um eyeshadow slash face colors um i guess these two you can use as like blush toppers these ones you can use as highlights on there's a golden one and there's one that's a little bit more like bronzy but like also champagne-y yeah and then this one is like a nice rosy and then this one's like a deeper pink so i really like this this is cute and i can't wait to use it um and the shades for this is of course the highlighter champagne pop we have caramel we have truffle we have berry and we have pink cream or creme creme de la creme so that's that then we have this kkw beauty um eyeshadow palette this is called the classic blossom palette and it's a nice rosy one she's nice and rosy i really love this palette it's so cute i love this these purplish shades here and this one too is like a really nice shade i love how these ones are like your nude i like i lid color but they have like a rosy pinkish undertone i really really want to try a look with this palette like you guys look at this look she's a beauty like oh, oh my god oh my god I got butterflies <laughs> then we have this pure pro times etienne um eyeshadow palette let me just wipe her down because she's a little bit dusty i'm sorry i'm sorry so yeah and this is what that looks like a lot of neutral shades in here too <clears throat> then we have your um jacqueline hill palette with um morph morphe i can't ever say like morph or morphe like the i can't i don't know guys how do you say it morphe or morph i don't know which one is the right way to say it but this this is like a staple it has every shade that you could possibly need um in your kit so if you're a makeup artist this is definitely a good um eyeshadow palette to have in your kit because like you can make so many looks with this so many looks all right so this is my lip products um so here we have uh three color pop lip glosses 
we have like a nudish one we have just your clear glittery one and then we have a pinkish one these are great to put on top of lipsticks or liquid lipsticks to give them a little bit more gloss and a little bit more shine um so that's those oh let me tell you the shades my bad guys my bad so this one is here's to you the pinky one um fantasia is the nudish one and add a girl is your icy one i have these infallible liquid lipsticks from l'oreal that everybody says are great um i haven't tried them honestly like i said everything here is a brand spanking new not even opened yet um these are the pro matte liquid lipsticks and i have the shades if i could find it what shade is this oh god oh it's on the top Psh, bitch okay so this one is in the shade rose blood this one is in the shade matador and this one is in the shade plum bum that's cute <laughs> then i have a covergirl lipstick it's like a nice nude shade i wanted to get it because y'all we need these nudes and this is a demi matte the shade is streaker then I have some Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lips. Um, these are the shades that I have. Honestly, you can always mix and match, blend them together, create a new shade. You guys don't need more than this, to be honest. So you can make any shade you want with, with these. For real, for real. Like, any shade you want. <clears throat> so, I have the shades milkshake so this one's milkshake this one is haze this one is brixton this one is mod and this one is naked and if i want like a more brownie um toned like nude i could always mix this one with like this one you guys can you imagine the shade that this will create can you imagine let's say these two had a baby guys come on we have a nyx liquid suede cream lipstick these are pretty good this one is in the shade l o oh. t and cookies this one's in the shade t and cookies. this is just like a really pinky like pink 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 shade so you always need like a really pink shade in there in your kit because you never know so this is your pinky shade right here and then we have some bite beauty i have a lipstick this one is in the shade uh what am i saying this one is in the shade sour cherry it's a right bright red and this is a i think this is like a lip gloss they advertise it as a liquefy lip, Amuse Bouche Liquefy Lip. This is the shade Fuse. But so that's how they advertise it. But to be honest, it's just like a really pigmented lip gloss. And, oh, here's another CoverGirl. This is another like nude, a brownish nude. And the color is Trending. Trending. Where's that other one I had? Oh, okay. We have a NARS lipstick, and this is in the shade Kirat. It's like a deep ass purple, like almost black purple. I should probably add a black shade in here because you know some of y'all like to be vampy and shit. Um, this is the Bite Beauty lip gloss, and the color is Salted Caramel. This is like the cutest most prettiest lip gloss shade you guys but i'm not gonna hold you this lip gloss smells a little bit weird like i don't know it smells like castor oil or some shit <laughs> i don't fucking know and by beauty they use a lot of like natural food grade ingredients in their lip products so i'm guessing that might be why this smells funky because they actually probably put castor oil in this shit but y'all it smells funky 
but it's a nice shade so we might just pull through you know we might just deal with it these are some becca lipsticks i have the shade poppy and i have the shade garnet garnet and these are some reddish shades oops so this one is your really like orangey kind of red and this one is the more bluer kind of red oh we're getting close okay so this is a nars uh velvet lip glide again same vibe same kind of thing as this bite beauty so it's basically a lip gloss but it's a really pigmented lip gloss like it's like a lipstick lip gloss <laughs> but yeah this is a very very um pretty shade it's swing so yeah these are all my lip products let's put these babies oh wait i forgot these little two babies here these are some makeup forever artist rouge light lip tints i think that's what these are called anywho um so this one's a, another like deep purple and then this one is like a coral this is very pretty and these ones are like tints they're not really pigmented but they go, go on as if they were like a tint a lip tint so you can even use these like on the cheeks if you want as like a cream blush so that's those All right, guys, the next baggie that I have, oh, what is this? A sticker, huh? Next baggie that I have is my skin prep and like skincare kind of um, products. So I really love this, this um, plastic pouch. It is the squishiest material ever. Like I love the way this feels. <laughs> it's like satisfying to touch it. <laughs> so I have some bases. Um, and priming products like these this is an eyeshadow primer this is an eyeshadow base also based on the same shit but this one is um from luscious i got this in a boxy charm once and i really liked it um it's really thick really creamy it i feel like it would be great for like you know a, um, a base for eyeshadows I, I haven't used it i haven't tested it but i think that it would work really really good based on how the swatch was looking and then this one is your nyx eyeshadow base so that's what these look like and then of course i have some lip therapy rosy lips um vaseline for my ladies lips or guys um then i have this mario badescu skincare ceramide eye gel for the under eye and i have this elf poreless putty primer and a lot of people were comparing this to the tasha silk canvas um primer and I was like, all right, let's give it a go. Cause I was at Ulta and they didn't have the Tatcha one. So I wanted to try this one. I have one of these, but it's not this one. I have another one of these um, that I've tried on myself that I own. And it wasn't this one, but it was another one similar to this. And it was pretty good. So I'm hoping that this is like bomb.com, you guys. And then we have a face oil. This has rose hip in it and it's 100 organic it's a daily facial oil so if any of my girlies are super super dry i will mix this in with their moisturizer and i will put that on their face and then i have this derma e firming dma e moisturizer it has alpha lipoic lipoic acid and sea ester i don't know you guys i can't with the scientific terminology of these products but anywho, I have a Derma E. I love Derma E. I love their products. I have a vitamin E moisturizer for myself and I am freaking obsessed with it. It's the best. Like it moisturizes. It leaves your skin so supple, so like hydrated. So I'm really excited to try these on you guys. Um, this one. And yeah, that's what this one looks like. So that's for moisturizing. I have... Um, this makeup remover this is just your um garnier micellar water the one that has a little bit of oil in it so it can remove even like waterproof and then i have a mac prep and prime fix plus and then i have a hangover rx two-faced primer and this is some rose water facial spray 
and this one is a Maron touch up anti shine so this is basically if you're oily if you need some mattifying to your skin you can just put a little bit of this on your oily spots to mattify it so that is that <laughs> And of course, I have a little hand mirror for my ladies and gents. So basically these I like to use just on the under eye. Like maybe I'll put them on the under eye while I'm doing the, um, the eyeshadow or the eye look. And then after I'm done with the eyes, I'll take it off and I'll do the rest of the face. But this will just like keep your under eye nice and hydrated, 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 <laughs> hydrated. And it's kind of like a nice little like luxury, you know, treatment. I, like it gives a nice experience to the whole process it, and it can make it even a bit more relaxing for your client. So I recommend you guys do something special like that for your clients because trust me, they're gonna love you and they're gonna come back. So these are just a couple of things that I forgot to mention um, before because they weren't in the actual bag I had. I had them in a separate place and I forgot about them. So I went and grabbed these and this is just a painter's palette um, container thing. So they sell this on Amazon and it's, um, if you search up like a artist or like paint container or containers for like storing paint, um, this is pretty cool because it keeps it nice and airtight um, so that your products don't dry out. And I just put a couple of, um, lip sticks in here so these are the colors i just like took the little sticker off um from the bottom of the lipstick packaging and stuck them on here so that i know what colors i have the maybelline or i'm sorry the covergirl ones i couldn't because it was like um it was i wasn't able to peel them off because it was part of the packaging like the label so yeah this is pretty cool i recommend if you have a if you're a makeup artist and and you have like lip lipsticks it's better to get one of these things to store them in because that way it takes up less space and you can store so many different colors in here. Like this has like 24 um, little individual containers where you can store a color into. Then I also have this Maron mixing liquid. Um, so this is for like if you have any powder products like metallics or um, like shimmery kind of like glitter products. You can turn them into a liquid um, by mixing some of this with your product and you can also use this with foundation if you want to thin it out and it also helps to make it last a lot longer but um or i mean like with yeah with like foundation or cream products you if you want to like make it more thin and more like um manageable to work with you can add add this or mix this into it and it'll help with that so like let's say you have like a black powder um, eyeshadow or um, loose eyeshadow you can mix a little bit of it with this and it'll turn it into like a, a gel liner or like a liquid um, eyeliner so this is pretty good to have too and then lastly I have this um, this empty magnetic palette that I got from Amazon um, I have some ColourPop shadows some makeup geek shadows these are Urban Decay Oop, this one is like breaking oh no Okay, I gotta fix those. But um, these ones are Urban Decay. I just wanted these to keep these because there's a lot of different like bright colors in here that you never know if you might need. Um, so that's good to have. And then I have this, I have two of these actually. I've already shown showed you guys this one, but it's the La Femme blush and um, can be it can be used as a blush or a bronze. So yeah, that's what I have in there. And that's it, that's my whole entire kit. And I also have this brush belt. Um, I just keep it wrapped up and rolled like this because I like to just have it on hand to store any dirty brushes that I need to clean or if I've already used a brush from my other container brush, um, brush organizer, then I'll put like any ones that are dirty in this one just so that I don't mix them with the clean ones. So that's good. 